On top of Izaguirre's absence, Celtic were also without Biram Kayal, who was injured playing for Israel. Mark Wilson replaced Adam Matthews, Charlie Mulgrew started and skipper Scott Brown was back after suspension. United replaced leg-break victim Severin with Scott Robertson in the holding midfield role and Peter gave a third start to 19-year-old Scott Allen. The best of the action with Alistair Lamont. Celtic's first home match of this SPL season. Two wins on the road, and Chris Collins almost giving them the ideal start, and Anthony Stokes on the follow-up. Dushan Pernic not dealing with the Commons drive, which was a fierce one. And then out quickly to deny Stokes. Connor swung in, Ostorovic is there, and so is Stokes! And there is an early goal, and Anthony Stokes has it. Well, he was denied just a moment ago by Dushan Pernis. He didn't have long to wait to get off the mark. It's flood for Dylan. Plenty of room for Dylan. Winds up the cross. Zaluska doesn't deal with that. He eventually gathers off Mastorovic. But, uh, not great goalkeeping there by the pole. Nixon's free kick. Hangs it high. Mastorovic half clear. Rankin shot. Comes back to Rankin once more. Gary Kenneth across goal. Johnny Russell. It's an equaliser for Dundee United. Out of virtually nothing. There's a miscued shot here from the centre back, Kenneth. Landing nicely for Russell. Mark Wilson was sleeping. And Russell draws the United level. Mulgrew. Onto the crossbar, there's Gary Hooper! And Celtic back in front almost immediately. Little over two minutes between Russell's goal and this Hooper header. Pernish just couldn't keep it out. Stokes. For Commons. Oh, so close for Commons. You can't get much closer than that. It's a flood. Walks in an advanced position, tries to slide the ball through to Robertson. He's down under the challenge of Wilson. Still United pressing for a second equaliser. Scott Brown can now mount a Celtic counter-attack, perhaps. That's Chris Commons and plenty of room. United on the retreat. Hooper leaves it as Key. Wonderful chance. Wonderful strike by Key. No stopping that from the Korean. Perfect win in the pass from Commons. And boy, can Key strike the ball. United did have a faint claim for a penalty just before that. It's Flood's corner, deep for Kenneth. Zaluska got a hand to that. Well, Kenneth certainly felt he did at least. United have had a fair bit of pressure in the last few minutes. Just Kenneth trying to drive one in again. Then Watson helps it back into the area. It's Johnny Russell. Diving to his right was Zaluska, might just have been heading wide anyway. But the goalkeeper wasn't taking any chances. Here goes Celtic on the counter again, it's one-on-one, -on -one. it's Hooper, he's away from Dixon, Hooper in on goal, just wide. Uh, Hooper limps off, he's hurt himself. And Dixon was straining to get back, just slightly late in the challenge, and another unhappy sight for Celtic fans. Stokes feeds substitute Maloney and there's Ledley bundles it into the net and Celtic are 4-1 in front and there's no doubt now where the points are heading good play by Maloney it was Watson and Ledley sliding in Scott Brown pleased to be back in the Celtic team, no doubt. There's Maloney, that's really good play from Maloney, and so close to a fifth for Celtic. A jinking run by Maloney. Key for Maloney. 
Ledley takes over, picks out Forrest, and he slid it into the net. It looked like he was going to be pulled down in the box when he managed to get his shot away. And it's a route for Celtic, 5-1. Five one does sound like a route, Peter, but but for big chunks of the